Hey, good morning, everybody. So I just completed the complete guide to polarized training. It's not something that I'm really into, to be honest with you. Um, the guide kind of goes in depth on probably 20 points, but I wanted to start hitting on a few of these in the YouTube videos and making them short and sweet. Um, I revamped this for 2020. A lot of the information stemmed from the Steven Seiler podcasts on Velo News. There's articles all over the place. Uh, his study, the four by eight minute intervals are super popular. Um, four things that I like about the polarized training is that there's a massive emphasis on aerobic cycling. Um, really, I, I, I really stress aerobic rides for everybody, especially on the weekend. Most people do not do enough aerobic work and this is an aerobic endurance sport, so it's super important. Um, they also dive into the idea that it's not just about max watts, but it's also about repeatability. Being able to do 95% of your max six times is way more important in a bike race than being able to just crush one number once that looks good on your Strava chart. So that's really important. Uh, check out the full article for more on that. Um, it highlights the downside of group rides. If you've been following any of this, you know how I feel about those. They're fun, but it's definitely not optimized training. And it's a really simple plan to follow. Uh, that also should go into the things I dislike because as you read down the article, Siler actually kills his own model, saying that it's a simple one to get people to go easier and to go harder, but then you can graduate to a seven zone system um, it's an interesting topic when Coggins starts talking about, you know, is the polarized training even based off physiology, which is what Siler claimed. Coggins says no. Spoiler alert. Four things I dislike real quickly. No race specificity. It's a small window of intensity-based intervals. Um, I don't think many cyclists can follow this because we're most, most of us aren't riding 20 hours a week and you're not going to get enough intensity question mark um, read more for that and most people won't follow this protocol it's not sexy you're riding really slow um, or you're going really hard it's uh, there's no tempo fast fun at the end of the day these training calendars systems programs whatever has to be practical right if you're not having fun you're doing it wrong that's the first thing I tell all my athletes um, and then I also calculating the zones gets somewhat confusing because they go through different ways to do it based off VO2 max, FTP, heart rate. So I made a calculator. It's halfway down on the post. Um, and then I'll make another video about some of the other points in this. But please subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think about polarized training. Uh, hit the little bell to get notifications when we make new posts. And... Let me know what questions you have. Brendan at Evoke Bike is my email. That's about it. Thanks. Have a great day. See ya.